Okay. Probably not. Probably not. Probably don't want this overlay, but it's the overlay we have. While I figure everything out. Da 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 da. I love Dunce. Get in the commentary booth with me, you nerd. Put off food. Okay. There's SG on the screen. That's good. I hope everything sounds right. I'll continue to get things working. Started a little early. I am a bit quiet. Good to know. We're right, dunks. That's why you do these things typically and not me, but hey, here we are. I offered for no reason. And now I gotta hold that. Man, everything wants to run slow all of a sudden. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. 
You know, just for the fun of it, I'm a, I'm a change, I'm a change my name real quick. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> Oh, baby, this is going to be a great time. <laughs> Come on. Come on, little laptop, you can move faster than this. You used to run a Battlefield 4 for Christ's sake. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. IDK, a Devious is a good influence. The rest of them, I don't know. Casey is also a good influence. Most of them are good influences. They're all nice. I don't know about Oddberry. <laughs> They're a little intriguing, to say the least. Uh. I don't know about that one. Bye bye, Dunce. I will miss you. Uh, we have five minutes. If anyone wants to just run in here and like play each other real quick while I continue setting up, that'll be all right. I will raise audio levels. Oh, here we go. Oh, I am. Oh, that's, that's, this is comedies. That's audio property. Oh, these are a lot of things I don't fully comprehend, but hey, we'll figure something out. Oh, this is great. Advanced audio properties. Oh, this is interesting on the OBS is saying I'm just at max. Maybe I just gotta speak up. Who knows? Hold on. Did JP say it was okay to give you the peanut gallery roll so you can come in here or not? Yeah, I have been kind of just mumbling a little bit, so maybe that was just the issue. I do not know. But regardless, if this sounds good or better, 
Let it rock. All right, so regardless, let's ch let's double check with matchups. B and B versus open lobby, Hunter versus open lobby, TPC Tay versus open lobby. Okay, a bunch of open lobbies. You love to see that. Let me just pre-prep the uh the the Mizumi for SG. I have a feeling we're gonna get a quick use out of that for the uh, first beginner lobby. Five fifty-seven. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We are on the beta. Hopefully that helps out the lobbies. Let's see anything else I need to fix up? Get going. Yeah, alright, yeah, alright. Regardless, it's going to be a pretty short one today. We only have about uh, three matches to go through. Five matches flat each. Hmm. 358. I mean, 358. 558. I don't know why this clock over here is off. Yep, just 15 games total, Tay. I don't know, actually. I haven't peeped in there. In a while. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are the signups? I've not done this in too long. And where are the signups? Man, I have not gone through this procedure in so long. My apologies. I'm kind of bad at this. Probably because it's like the first time, but hey. I'm just going to assume there are no advanced tests to be done currently. Hello, Viva La Ben Hooks. Glad you find it cool. What? I thought you had to go get food. I did too. I went down there and I said, "Well, JK is thirty more minutes away, so I'll get help." <laughs> All right. Well, hello, welcome. We have the lovely Dunce here to supervise me, my shenanigans, and scree, scree. Just want food. Oh, Dunce is super quiet. No, okay, I'll I'm turn them off. Super quiet. <laughs> All right. Yar har fiddle dee. Hope that's a little bit better. Thank you for joining, Dunce. I probably am gonna need you more than likely. Eighty-eight percent, ninety percent. Well, you've got me for probably at least one or two sets. I don't know about three. All right. So I guess we should. I guess it's time to be the first gamer. It is, it is time to start, indeed. It is time to start. So let's see. We have B and B versus open lobbies. So that's B and B. Lobby. We'll probably grab the lobby link. Put that in there. Right channel, right channel. I'm just gonna ask them to join the lobby. 
And I guess that's a call for anyone who is Preferably, around the beginner level yep. to play. If not, I or someone. I think Dunce would be the better opponent for that one if you could spare the time. Yeah. Woo! Alright, let me invite Dunce into here. I almost invited Full Bleed, that would have been interesting. I don't know if I trust Full Bleed as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I love the man, but. Alright, and now we just wait on B and B, and while we wait on B and B, I guess we can figure out who can play. Give who can play them like for five. the open lobby. Give yeah, five ten minutes. They have till six ten. God, it, it would be six ten. Is this? Is this B and B? No clue. Well, they're on Wi-Fi, so I don't like that indicator. I can check. What is their... What is BNB's tag? I... Nope, that is not them. That is not them? Nope. Yeah. They are the left or got kicked. I don't know what happened in the exact same click. That was probably a kick. We need a player of roughly around the beginner level. And if if you're if you're wanting to join, that's fine. It's saying nothing and hopping in is the problem. We we didn't know who that was. Yep. I mean, but today's gonna be a whole lot of open lobbies, so Yeah, each lobby is open, so like I guess we can start lining them up. <laughs> but as of now we are waiting on B and B to join the lobby. Hmm. Not attorney, no. This is, I guess you could call them show matches. The, the whole point of this is we find players that are around the skill level of. Um, yeah, let me retry. My brain we find cool. players roughly around the skill level of one another, and then we help give advice and evaluate things that they could be doing better. B. Help them improve. I, they're back. I, this, to double check, this is not B and B. I, so the, their Steam community, like, their their disc or their name should be a B and B unless they changed everything right before they joined the lobby. This that, is you, Bonetti. I mean, Wi-Fi is allowed for get great, Tay. Yeah, get great. You can be on Wi-Fi. It's not preferred, but all right. Are you are you roughly around the beginner level? Hmm. Either way, we might not have the schemer tonight, unfortunately. Yep, that is true. Oh, someone join? It's also not being. Wait, don't ready up. Oh, uh, well. Uh, there they go. Y'all, what the hell is going on? Like, straight up. This. <sighs> Who are both of these players? I love having information on new players. I mean, it says B and B is on CSP, like Clip Studio Paint, so I don't know. Yeah. This... Uh, and regardless, <laughs> they like DC or whatever. I think one of them left. All right, but let me redo the lobby real quick. Make sure everything's like pri private. Probably goof. Yeah. Why are they all in the lobbies? I don't know why they're all open lobbies. But I no, want you in this one. 
get in yeah. here. No, I'm coming. That's more. Regardless, he has four minutes to get here. Otherwise, we move on. That means it would be, let's see, Hunter versus Open yeah, Lobby, I'm, of course. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out something real quick for uh, that. Are, the, are these lobbies public? And I just remade it to private everything, so it should be private now. If you signed up for Git Great and your name is Hunter, then you are on the line to be up next. It, About three minutes before we call you in. What were you going to say, Dunce? No, you're good. I wasn't saying anything. Alright. Just be ready to join the lobby, Hunter. Yep. Correct Hunter. I wish people would have similar name. I mean, well, that. Oh. A couple more minutes, I guess. And what a great start. It happens, and this is the slow part of the year, so. Yeah. Oh, Doesn't help to, like, isn't fight back tonight? Yeah, it is. Lamal. Yeah. Yeah, fight back starts at seven, the exact same time. <laughs> Actually, where are the signups? I have not done these in too long. Any announcements? So yeah, uh, signups for Get Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there'll be an announcements. There should be a pinned thing in announcements, as well as every single time the bot has said signups are up, it links to the same Google Sheets. Her forms. Okay, I see. Yep. And so the form, or yeah, the form's closed right now because the event's running, but it will likely be up Monday ish, is usually when we try and get them up for that week's event, for that week, for the next Saturday, basically. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Skullgirls kind of just slows down during the summer, especially because they're usually aren't many events in general uh what? it's weird but there's definitely like seasons for the amount of people who show up for Skullgirls. well regardless it doesn't seem b and b is here it's yep. easy drawing csp so uh hunter please join the lobby we are on beta beater and then get an intermediate to level player. Yep. An intermediate level player to play Hunter. Or we can send either me or Dunce at the person. Welcome, Hunter. We are finding you an opponent. So, goes out to the chat if anyone would like to do so. If not, Dunce, would you like to do so? I mean, I'm still trying to take a break, but if no one else wants to, sure. Eh, I could also do it. I'll just play, like, solo Annabelle or something like that. 
You, we've been over this. I will do my best <laughs> to not be a complete and utter bully. Besides, they probably play band. They'll be fine. They... Oh god, what is Hunter's team? All I, I remember is the Umbi. Ah, my brain. I oh, should know play, this. They played the Umbi team? I see, I see you every week and my brain is just... Okay, where is the... Oh, it's... No one's been open the chat to play Hunter. Never mind! As soon as I said that. I'm a squid <laughs> robo, yep. I just I just went to the sign up sheet. I, my brain like completely shot. Anasazi, if you would like to join, there's yeah. the Steam link right there. Probably be pretty good. That should be pretty good. I don't like have access access to seeing Hunter's hours, so let's you hope it's for. I do. How? Where? When? What? Why? It's literally pinned in the channel. You you can see both signups. All W. I am great at this. Uh, uh, you and Hydra both. <laughs> you have the resources right in front of you and refuse to know where they are. <laughs> We're organized. We swear our hosts are just special sometimes. But yeah, no, feel free to hop in here. Y'all will probably be a pretty good match. And we can get the show on the road. I heard to join? Yep. That's Anasazi. Let's go! Five Wait. straight matches, everyone. Huzzah. Do, do, do. Five games, yep. Oh, cool. I got a runtime error. Outstanding. Oh, wait. Uh, move move to the other channel. Uh, I can stream in there. Oh, okay. Gotta change the capture. Radio girls. That tech throw you need to delay a little bit for Umbi. The light punch into a command throw. Alright, give me a moment. I gotta like, swap the yep. capture of the window. That's all good. But none of these are Discord. That's amazing. Um. I really don't want you to see you, see you call assist Hunter right now. Both of your assists are bleeding heavily. You could get snapped in. No combo. That's amazing. No confirm. Why isn't Discord a, a source on here? What? I think when I do Discord, I just do like monitor capture. Pain, much spaghetti. A little bit of combo consistency errors. We didn't get our danger. Keep it safe, though. Oh, here we go. I think I got it. I'm nice. Alright, what have I missed? Sadly, um, everything? Some combo consistency issues, and then kind of just a little bit of neutral stuff. Raw sweep on Oki. So when you're falling on people like that with Robo, jump medium punch is like the best button in the world. 
It is the button you want to be choosing to land on people with, not jump medium kick. We're jumping a lot. And then we got caught. Okay. Yep, got caught. Alright, hold off on your next game real quick. Yeah, you have enough time to swap back unless you didn't make a different... Oh, are you still not in the lobby? Nope, I just made a different window real quick, like. Oh, well, you could just join off me. Back in. Make sure everything's good. Yep. The stream looking good? Yep, it's all good. So I'm about to tap back into the game. There's still audio on of the game on the stream, correct? I will check. If we win, Hunger gets to eat all the garbage he wants. Uh, I this can't is tell. true love, Heck. we're mixed. Go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually OBS just captures all the audio of the scene, so. Let us hope. So, one thing I want you to kind of start trying to think about is when you're calling beam, actually using it to do something behind it, because it feels like you're calling it on cooldown, which it it is a strong assist that takes control of neutral. That's a really cute interaction. But it's a good um, DP. If you're doing nothing behind the robo, you're controlling Nostril for two seconds and then not using that control to give yourself any sort of advantage. So when, when you're calling it, thinking about, start thinking about being proactive. So like running at them, forcing them to block a slurp and slide with your plus, etc. All that kind of sort of stuff. So calling the assist to step one, but using it to actually give yourself an advantage is the thing you need to be working on afterwards. Oh, we're dead. Mm. I'm okay with that cash up. Yeah. Big Bang gameplay. And we are also getting mashed on a lot. So learning any burst baits, or just when going for mix, do the no mix mix. Hold back, bait out the DP, and then punish the response afterwards. Attempted to lock him down, good push block to push him away. Oh, you can I would that. not Jump recommend light. giant stepping. But hey, it'll catch eventually. How do, you, how do you deal with Robo? Alright, Ban got beamed. We actually Alright. And they got grabbed. They were not blocking. Oof. You, you can use the frames of level 3 to react to whatever's happening. Do they escape? Or they wow. kill them? Nice. Some people are like, what about it? It's really Good brave. Kill. It worked. I also... Also, if anyone in chat can tell me, please tell me, please tell me if there's audio from the game itself. I don't know if anyone else is still sticking around. I don't think you're streaming, Hydra. Oh, you I think that's dry. Sorry. Yeah. It's my turn to stream. Also, hello, Hydra. Alright. a pretty brave round start. Very. Alright, got the combo. Got the reset. How do you mix them in the corner? Simply full combo into Oki. Nice. So, one thing I will recommend... I'm not sure if you're aware, but... Just being at full and dizzy forces combo scaling after the first hit to 50%? It, it, it forces your combo to be scaled, so going for a full combo into Oki 
actually makes the next time you hit them, unless you drain Undizzy, which forces you to wait, um, it, it will do reduced damage. So if you're going to go for that setup, I'd honestly recommend doing it before you've reached full Undizzy. For the exact same reason why you mix before you reach full Undizzy. Because if you want, you can treat Oki setups like you're going for mix. That was an interesting setup. Also, yeah, stream's gonna be a little quiet. I don't have full control over audio, and I kind of mumble a little bit. Don't stream part two, electric boogaloo. They got, they got hit for pressing. They were mashing. Yep. Like I said, they were mashing. So if you see them counter hit there, you can be pretty confident that they're mashing. So you can just go for it again. You also right. could have opted to cash out. That too. You really could have easily killed her. I that like hit! Snap, even though it wasn't actually a combo into snap. You gonna beam him? Oh yeah. no. We got caught. Alright. DP assist saves the day. Get heads. Ben sits there. Alright. Yeah, our robo combos are not quite there yet, which is alright. Oh my, I thought that was gonna work. Hi Hydra, the sliders are all the way up. Alright, Ban's being beamed. And, yeah, Tail is old as time. Ban's, Ban is fat. Right. Sliders in the volume mixer. You can't boost individual programs in OBS, Hydra. Unless I've just been completely blind. Maybe. Maybe. Regardless, we have a match to comment over <laughs> another brave round start but it hit no combo though oh you mean in the computer volume mixer I see. Yeah. a lot of jumping from this umb yep hunter in general has been jumping a good bit no confirm you gotta confirm those, my friend. Alright, you are in Ravenous. Do you do you know how to keep yourself in it? Regardless, you got the hit. This sh good? Nah, you gotta reset. Oh, we got backdash. We also need to get ourselves yeah, out of starving. That's good. That raw tag. tag. Is not. Mm. If you wanted to do that, you should have done that a lot earlier. Alright. Got the hit. Let's see where you take it. Resetting pain while on the ground. Smart. Nice. Alright. Are you gonna kill? You should kill. SBO. Oh, we don't need it. Nice. We know. Yep, meterless. I don't blame you resetting a bandwidth five bars terrifying. Cause that I think we could attack. Yeah. They didn't do the yeah. giant step right. If you see that blue bounce. You can tech out, and it's not a real combo if you got hit by the things after it. And by bar, this should be death. Yeah. Stargate's open. Everyone dead. And so, TLDR for teching, it's, it's kind of hard to react to it, but if you notice they either mess up a setup or have already lost OTG, and these are the kind of things you'll start recognizing as you keep playing more, uh, you'll know I should be able to tech here and go for it. 
but always try and look out for the blue bounce because if it's a blue bounce you can get out for free and sometimes if people have messed up a combo and it's a blue bounce you get to punish afterwards because the option they ended on was not actually safe Oh, that was very risky round start. Yep. We need to recognize Brass is on the screen and we can't go into our zone next, so now we have a little bit of time. And one really strong tool for Umbi in this matchup is using Stand Heavy Punch as a reflector. Reflecting the tears back onto Parasol makes Parasol unable to do a couple of different options, and it forces her to respond to it, as well as keeping a tear off you. So it's hard, but I'd recommend trying to practice getting used to it. Good with punish. Meaty the grab, dead character. How do you deal with pain wheel on incoming? Take the rusher. Good DP. DHC. Your charges. Use one immediately. Honestly, I think you can just uh, let them hit the ground and tech chase, or just back off, drain on dizzy. You have two charges. You're squiggly. You can go full screen, try and whiff normals for meter. Because you already have the resources you really want. Tick throw, nice. I was about to say, they've shown they're really willing to mash, so I really want to see you be patient. And I don't think you intentionally spaced that around the beat extend. If you did, kudos, but... I want to see a little bit more of a response to the fact that they're just sending it mashing. Got grabbed on our wake up, sadly. Messed up the meaty timing, it's fine. Resorting to beams, good. You are giving up a lot of space right now. Yeah, you let them fly straight at you. These you want to make them work for the space, you have those beams. Yep, yeah. robo combo consistency hurting a little bit. Yeah. Oh no, confirm. That's awkward. Robo dash is a little too fast. You don't need to be approaching right now. Yeah, you, you do not have to approach. You have life lead, all three characters, resources at your disposal in all three heads. This panel should just be getting zoned to oblivion. Keeping, yep. keeping track of how much time is left, especially playing a team with Robo on it, is always going to be pretty important. Because sometimes, it, and oftentimes, the safest option is for you to play a Runaway game. Runaway is really strong at Skullgirls. Truly, but, I would work on those Robo combos. For, for Hunter, the biggest things... A little bit of combo consistency for Robo. That's just time in the lab whenever you're feeling it. You can get ironed out. Not a big deal. You do jump a lot, which can start to get called out a little bit with either with anti-air, like specific command throws, or um, like up forward throw, or they just up forward button and catch you trying to press something faster. Using ground mobility, especially for a uh, Characters like uh, Robo. Robo actually has relatively good ground mobility. Her forward dash is nuts. Um, as well as just using space and grounded buttons. So squ squiggly to medium kick. One sec. Uh, squiggly to medium kick. You are using uh, Robo Sweep, which is a relatively good spacing option. Ombi just has phenomenal grounded buttons. So I'd highly recommend you... Cut out jumping a little bit from your game plan. 
because one being predictable is bad. Two, grounded spacing buttons are really good in this game. And then oh, there's one other thing. Oh yeah, it feels like you're calling Robo just because having beam is good. Like having beam on screen is great, but it didn't feel like you were actually using it to press any advantages. So you're kind of calling an assist on cooldown, but then not abusing the fact that it's on screen buying you time. So you kind of just sat there, watched them block it, not really trying to set up any additional zoning. So getting your hunger in a state where you'd like with Umbrella or like forcing them to block something that's plus. So you can just straight up try and pressure them and open them up, them up right after. You were kind of just calling it. Sometimes you were beating brass with it. Sometimes you called it right into brass. And again, you were just kind of calling it, not doing anything. So thinking about like abusing what your assist is doing for you is going to be pretty important. Yeah. What, there are especially certain assists, Brass being one of them, where knowing when your assist will win or whether you need to be respecting it slash countercalling it becomes pretty important. And it's one of the better answers to beam. Although if you call it at a wrong time, it just gets its armor broken. But yeah, no. That's, those, those were my little tidbits I noticed. And I actually have to hop out for the evening, so I wish you all the best of luck with the rest of the event. Take care. I think this goes well. Goodbye, dunce. They are now gone. Let's see, who's next? That would be... Tay, you are up next. Versus the open lobby. So, let me ping Tay. DBC, I'm Tay. Sorry again for scuff stream, audio and all that. Learning process. Don't know what to do about the audio. I checked my volume mixers. Everything is at a hundred percent, hundred percent. Everything, all the sliders are up. I actually don't know why, why I'm so quiet. We're on beta. I heard that. Who was Midist Soldier? If anyone from the chat would like to play Tay, roughly in the inter we are decently in the intermediate level. From last I've checked, I don't know if they swap teams or much around. So if anyone in the chat is willing to play, I will be willing to drop the link and you can join. Would Hydra like to come in and play? Or are they just here to perceive? Give it a minute or two. And then I will simply take charge.
think Baghdad and them are busy playing like Risk of Rain, from what I remember. And if I remember correctly, ISO and Tay's connection together hasn't been the best. Hmm. Oh, dry fight me. Sorry, I'm blind. Alright then. Ugh, I'm not the- I am honestly not the best at- <laughs> I am not the best at playing and also giving advice at the same time. I just kind of be like looking dead-eyed into the space, into the abyss. I'll be playing my normal team. No cat today. All right, right now we can work on any mix-ups. Oh, Annabelle looked the right way. All right. Oh, we have Andy DP assist. You do jump a lot. And you are very patient. Let's see this Umbi combo. Caught my jump this time. Oh, no DHC. Catch my jump again. They don't want to convert off of air grab in that situation. Oh. And I did not tech that time. But star power is not the be all end all. I <laughs> people still have a ways to deal with it. In that situation, I had a lot of hit stop. Little unfamiliar with our combos. Wake up level 3, doesn't do much damage, though not in the right mode. That meaties upwards. But now we both know. I'm assuming you tried to do that funny mix up. Lost over in the combo. I do not know why we're calling any DP assist there. I'll let the umbrella play a little bit more so you can see. They do know that they can heavy punch it. Nice raw tag. It was full screen. Couldn't stop it. But I would not recommend hitting Ben. This band is a simple meat shield. Oh, 
All right, nice. You hopped right over the crescent and immediately punished the bad approach. I don't know what we were setting up there with the assist, but regardless, it is very good to just constantly be blocking even if you're moving forward. Good habit to get into. Nice reflector into the stinger. That's very unfortunate, though. <laughs> Aw, gotta let go in time. Guess not. Gotta work on that conversion. Tagged in. Wary of the parry. Come close, baby. And we know our panic jumping a lot. Brass to the face puts a fool in their place. Okay. Obvious character unfamiliarity. It is what it is. Fuku is just not getting to play, so I can't comment much on her. She could probably try to contest my aerials a lot more. Her JLP and JHK are really good at that. Regardless, though, the fireball neutral is pretty decent. Again, Ban is a meat shield. I assume that was a match super. I do not know Umbrella Supers off the top of my head. And that's just a random knowledge check. She can DP after that. Alright, Kuku gets to cook. Let's see how she deals with the situation. Alright, frequent mix ups. Again, I would not risk overextending on Ben. You gotta watch your opponent's resources. It is a good idea to pay more attention to my resources. A lot of the times I could have just pillared you for, well, hitting band. You are honestly losing your Fuku a lot to hitting band. I understand I wanted to put the assist on a cooldown, but sometimes it's just not worth it. Alright, DP assist locked down. 
Call in Ben. Do you know how to punish us? Sadly, push blocked out. Ooh. I goofed myself. Alright, let's see how you take this. Oh, you don't know any mix ups. We must learn those. the DP. Alright, what's your reset? Good grab. Usually best layered in between a tick. Just like so. Alright, backwards air dash, you cash that giant step. Good idea. Ben can DP a lot of Annie's mix-ups. It is really annoying. That's why we have banned specifics. Your dome must all still be watched. Yes, I do understand that. Ratios are not the funnest things to play against, but people play them. We have to plan around it. Even then, you weren't playing bad. You you were just playing two new characters. Like, the character unfamiliarity was there. The any The any play was very new, I could tell. Didn't even... Weren't going for many uh, JMP resets. The uh, bread and butter ones. I will show you the more complex ones later on. Umbrella, I can... I can't say much for Umbrella. I don't know much about the character still, as of now. The only reason I went any a is because I'm trying to play something I'm comfortable with, and I know exactly like what happened because of why. If I were to play Fortune, it would be really disingenuous, because I... I still don't have a full grasp on what makes fortune tick fully. Like in a scenario like this, I can't really play something I'm still working on and like actively learning. So I, cause otherwise I can't give you the fullest advice. Or at least that's how I see it. So I had to play something I just knew like the back of my hand. I did try to like give some characters more chances to shine and do things. Uh, I only want to play tr my trio versus trios. If you want to play trio versus trio and duo versus duo like so, then yeah, that's a really good idea to have. It is always, it is a good idea to have that if you really don't like getting ratioed that much. But regardless, if you do go trio into a duo, you still have an extra resource on top of that duo. I was just simply catching you a lot because you were trying to punish band at times while also calling an assist. So I would just catch you with a really big disjointed button that Annie, well, she loves having those. And then it would, and it, and in one case it did end up in a double snap. And then in, in most, and in most of them they ended up in getting your Fukua hit, which was her death. Your Fukuo play wasn't too bad, it's just A-Train caught you, unfortunately. Uh... Well, yeah, if Fukuo versus Annie, yeah, maybe Fukuo wins, but I have I also have A-Train to keep you on the ground, and if you're on the ground, you, you are then being contested by Annie and almost on the ground, which isn't in your favor. So, it, it makes sense why that's kind of annoying. 
Like I want to. Uh, your 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 fireball zoning. I can't really say too much on. Like we do play each other quite a lot, so I do know when you want to what type of fireballs you want to throw and when. So I just kind of ran past well some of the fireballs, and got straight in for it. Honestly, would like to see more like grounded fireballs, like maybe L fireball if you know I'm going to be a calling A train and things like that. Because then at least I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly, L fireball does linger around a lot more. So when A train's off the screen, you are that you then have more credence to press 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 an advantage afterwards with with your assists. Uh, actually, yeah, if you had L fireball on the ground more often, you could press an advantage because if I jumped, you have cool normals you can test me with which are really quick and will more than likely end up in your favor especially if the fireball still on the ground plus you still have your assist in the background to back you up so that's one thing Fuku could have been doing different obviously again not punishing banned as often because that did get you hit and killed a lot other than that i can't really say too too much like concretely because you are still new to umbi you are still new to any there are are weird conversions any any gets that you were missing uh and it was just you were calling you were calling me out you you were calling out my jumps you were calling out jumps very well with Annie and umbrella i really like that and but regardless you're still playing Annie against me i play Annie a lot i know what she wants to do but even then you didn't have an idea of where and when to reset or like how to vary them Uh, Umbrella seems re is again really really new. I'm assuming you are going for one of the no nope's resets, where it's an ambiguous cross up. I mean cross under. Uh, regardless, uh, I will be back in the voice call so we can talk more on this in a second, like one on one, like actually. So, besides that, that is the end of the stream. Thank you for joining. Sorry if it was pretty scuffed. I'm still new to this. I hope you enjoyed your stay. I hope the advice could be heard. I know the audio was quiet for most people. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to fix it next time if I do host these again. And again, thank you for joining us. See you next time.